Hello, people of the internet. Welcome to Fixing the Honda Part 2. Ever since putting the rear main seal on this thing, it's been driving so much better. And genuinely splitting the trans and the motor was not easy. It took a little bit over a day, um, but it saved a lot of money. And genuinely the gaskets were only 10, 20 bucks for the entire kit and to replace the oil pan gasket and the rear main seal. Extremely inexpensive. It just takes a decent amount of time. The previous owner had this pretty much running, I don't know, maybe a quart every day or two. Um, and that's losing a lot of oil. So it was completely necessary to do the oil pan, the rear main seal and genuinely taking care of those leaks, it seems that this car has stopped leaking oil. And to go from a really cheap Honda that I picked up to fixing all the dents and taking care of all the bodywork, and I got the quarters coming in too in the future, so it's no big deal, I got them coming in in a couple of days. Um, already ordered, but more or less, I'm just excited to take this car from pretty much something that was almost looked at not salvageable and pretty bad to it's completely fixable and you can actually make a decent amount of money or profit off of it or keep it for something that you know you'd want to enjoy and take around town a really nice reliable daily that doesn't leak oil and gets good gas mileage boom there you go honda i hope you guys enjoy a continuation of the bodywork on the civic <laughs> But to be fair, I didn't think either of these fenders were salvageable because there was so much damage on them. And if they weren't my own car, I wouldn't do it. This fender now is dentless and I was able to shave down some of the metal on that side. So pretty much towards the bottom here, it concaves in the middle a little bit. And I don't know if you guys know, but there's a little secret with bodywork. You can actually use a metal file to come closer to your bodywork. If you're actually sanding and you can't come close to your edges, you can use the file to come close and actually beat it too and cheat a little bit, but make the whole surface smooth to the edge. And then you could finish blending it, finish 220 or 320, prime, do what you want. So much better peace of mind now that the whole thing's completely smooth and doesn't look like crazy messed up anymore it's just in primer but as long as the rest of the car is getting okay and getting in good condition i'm completely okay with it and coming around to the other side here we're working on some dents on the door as well so everything is just being taken care of 
extremely happy with how everything's turning out there. And I really think that all of this work is extremely paying off because this car is going to look great when it's done. And then when the quarters come in, that's going to completely finish out the car. And when I get the bumper in as well, it's just going to tie up the whole back end together pretty much in no time. So I'm excited. <laughs> I was so scared I was gonna run out of primer there, but I'm glad it actually turned out okay. And genuinely going from this side, I feel like this body work was actually pretty easy compared to um, the fenders from being macked. And genuinely, this is kind of like just normal dent repair on like uh, sides of doors and kind of like normal customer type-esque vehicles. It's really not that different than uh, what you're normally doing, you know? So I feel like genuinely getting the golf ball out of that fender kind of ties up that fender to be completely done. And that fender's been completely done. I just have tiny pit holes in it. Um, actually just just one which is really annoying i think i hit a tool off the side um yesterday when we were doing the rear main seal but regardless the door's looking good and i'm glad it's, everything's turning out okay i'm really excited to get those quarters in <laughs> I'm really happy with how it turned out and genuinely I feel like I have many other videos that go much more in depth on how to do prim and proper bodywork rather than just simple cut and dry bodywork on my Honda Civic but it's okay. I'm really thankful that you guys are tuning in and checking in and I hope you guys enjoy. See a whole move, there ain't nothing that I won't do Chillin' at the bar while she back it up A good girl, but she actin' up A good girl, but she bad as fuck She on 10, but I'm catching up She sweat me and I gas her up I be dumb if I pass it up Those eyes said I had to jump And her mind said I had to One, two, three I'm inspired by your energy Four, five, six Feel your spirit on my fingertips And seven, eight, nine Thank your mama cause you so damn fine I don't really wanna say goodbye. Let me stay the night again. She just want head in the morning. She just want lay in the daylight. She ain't trying to do no falling. Don't want love if it ain't right. Walk on the beach on Sunday afternoon to make her feel alive. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I can change the story if you let me. Promise in the morning won't forget me. Lady, I can miss you, Captain. Yeah, I ain't far from perfect, but you get me A lot of miles getting in the way I just wanna give you what you want I've been thinking about you every day Catch a plane and wait for me to come through I'll be on the way, scoop you up and grab you by the ways, take you anywhere you want to go. I'm aware that you just want to play. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of Bodywork on the Civic. I really appreciate all you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I know that we going with the flow. Soon I'm about to go and catch a plane.